एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी एंड आई एम अनमोल भाटिया दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो द टॉपिक ऑफ द वीडियो इज नॉन कन्वेंशनल मशीनिंग प्रोसेसिस In the first part of the video, we have seen the introduction of the non-conventional machining processes and majorly the need of non-conventional machining processes. In this part of the video, we'll be learning about the classification of the non-conventional machining processes and the general advantages, limitations, and applications of the non-conventional machining processes. And yes, I'll be answering the question which I asked in the initial part of the lecture in this part of the video. so let us start the topic advanced manufacturing processes or the non conventional manufacturing processes or the non traditional manufacturing processes this topic is a part of uh, the course which is manufacturing practices so let us start with the video so in this part of the video we will be learning about the classification of the non conventional machining processes and if i talk about the classification of the non conventional machining processes the major classification is done in terms of energy that we supply in order to machine the raw material the first thing is the mechanical energy that we can supply then the electrical energy which is electrochemical process then the thermal energy which is thermoelectrical process and lastly we can have the chemical energy uh, in order to uh, machine the raw materials if i talk specifically about the mechanical energy aspect we have these broader heads which is the abrasive jet machining water jet machining and the ultrasonic machining in abrasive jet machining what happens we have the slurry of abrasives and that is being placed in between uh, the gap uh, and uh, the abrasive slurry is capable of cutting the material uh, on the surface so we can create contours on the surface with the help of abrasive jet machining abrasives when mixed with water can also cut the material such as mild steel uh, and ultrasonic machining consists of abrasives and we have a horn which is placed on the surface and that will create an impact on the surface of the work piece and because of that impact the shape desired shape can be produced so this is as far as the mechanical energy association is concerned then we have the case of electrical energy or electrochemical energy in which the example is ecm which is electrochemical machining and electrochemical grinding in which electrical energy and chemical energy is capable of removing the material from the surface then we have thermal energy the examples are electron beam machining in which we flow the beam of electrons on the surface of the material that we want to machine because of the heating the removal of the metal takes place similar is the case of iron beam and the laser beam machining then we have the chemical energy aspect in which we can have the chemical machining or electro polishing in which the material is removed with the help of the chemical action on the surface so this is the basic category or the basic idea of the classification of the non traditional manufacturing processes also named as non conventional manufacturing processes or unconventional manufacturing processes then we have certain advantages of the same in which material removed is without any mechanical contact with the work piece so let's say if an example the laser beam machining so laser beam machining has a laser which is pointed on the surface and uh, when the laser uh, creates uh, the melting of the surface of the work piece it uh, removes the material from the work piece surface then we have the case in which it is independent of the work piece hardness so whether we have a hard material or we have a soft material we can easily cut 
those materials example is ecm or edm in which we can use electro discharge machining or electrochemical machining the variant of edm is wire edm wedm it is also called in which there is a wire and with the help of the wire we can cut the material so here we'll be using the electrochemical energy and the wire uh, is capable of producing that uh, sparks and because of that action the melting of the workpiece takes place and we can cut the material easily so this answers to the question that i have raised in the initial part of the video then we have the case in which the cutting forces are there and cutting forces are majorly independent of the workpiece hardnesses and the tool material that we are using here need not to be harder as compared to the workpiece material then uh, the metal is removed without any contact it is independent of the hardness and cutting forces are dependent and the tool material need not to be harder this i have told you then uh, there is a case in which the tool wear aspect is not a problem like i have told in case of ecm or lbm we don't have any wear of the tool so tool wear is not a problem in that situation it can machine any material example is lbm then burr free machining is there there are uh, is no production of uh, the extra burrs that is being produced on the surface example is ecm or edm process and also it is a stress free machining process like ecm or ecg which is electrochemical grinding or chm which is the chemical machining then uh, there are certain other examples like there is a material removal rate which is uniform so uniformly we can remove the material over the entire surface area also the surface integrity part is very good in case of the advanced manufacturing process and the shapes which are intricately made like we have uh, an intricate shape that we want to manufacture and and with the help of conventional process we cannot manufacture that so in in that particular situation intricately uh, manufactured or intricate shapes can be uh, given a particular shape like an example is usm ultrasonic machining and they have the finally focus micro machining and that is possible with the help of this processes examples are edm or lbm or ebm and they have an easy compatibility with the numerical control or the cnc uh, machining or the computer controls basically so these examples are edm lbm or ecm apart from certain advantages the process has certain disadvantages or the limitations also the first and foremost uh, limitation is for some of the situations for some of the cases the workpiece needs to be conductive so like I, i have told you in case of edm electricity is involved so when electricity in, is involved so electricity basically works on the material which are conductive so for conductive material we can use these processes only the depth of the hole is a limit or is a problem in case of the lbm for example if we want to drill a hole of let's say a larger depth so for the initial depth the hole can be made but when the laser reaches to the later part of the hole or that cylindrical region so what happens the heat is uniformly distributed over the above part but it is not uniformly distributed when it goes into the uh, later or the down stage situation so for that situation this depth of hole is a limit so we majorly use this lbm for uh, low thickness materials the heat affected zone is not desirable here in in some of the cases like edm or ebm and uh, for these purposes they are uh, compatible with the metallurgical states of the workpiece and those metallurgical states needs to be studied uh, before incorporating any advanced manufacturing processes there are certain tapers on the side walls and because of these Uh, limitations one has to work upon but these limitations are those certain kinds of limitations that can be controlled with certain aspect of the quality so these quality can be maintained majorly these limitations can be controlled but the process is highly advantageous 
So with this, we come to the end of the second part of the video in which we learnt about the classification of the non-traditional manufacturing processes. We learnt about the limitations, we learnt about the advantages of the process and also the applications of the non-conventional manufacturing processes. If you want to have the conceptual clarity in detail, you can refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. If you find the video interesting, like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.